Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we got a brand new ship, the Blythe, in honor of Percy Blythe from the Parsifal. And we also found a place to uh, start smuggling in Albion, right here. Head offices of a lumber concern that imports Bronzewood from the Reach. Yeah, also where the Blind Bruiser is, our old friend and a smuggler. So, just smuggled my first things. Uh, four non-censored literature, non-ministry approved literature, from Albion to the Reach. Took four of them to more prosper. I need three more to complete the prospect. And I really want to do that. It's a pretty short ride back to London to buy more, so I'm just going to go do that right now. Let's head back to London. Ooh, we got a Dreadnought. Damn, what a shot. Gain supplies. Um, I've only got one cargo space, so let's raid the hold. A faceted decanter. Light and shade play in the shivered surface of the glass. A selection of immaculate souls. Nice. Distinguished souls bob in a call of victory's fluid. These are the currency of the judgments, the rarefied, the beloved, the brilliant. Ooh, we got a golden dreadnought. Nice shot. I did pretty damn well if I do say so myself. Only took four damage. Gained up to three fuel. Sure. Success. Two fuel. We've already seen this description before. So we need to deliver three more illicit literature. Let's grab that. And be on our way. Hold on a second, did, did my rocket just bend? Does it slightly home in on my target? Sure was bending their direction. Huh. Maybe that explains why I've had so many good hits. Like, it's not... It doesn't... Oh, uh, let me get rid of this so it's not so loud. Solid crate. Carefully packed crate of munitions. It's not that it curves like a ton. It's not like an aimbot, you know? It's just like a very gentle nudge in the right direction a little bit. Another dreadnought.
Oh yeah, I'm really loving this weapon. I wasn't super impressed with it to begin with. But now that I've gotten to use it and it's got a mild homing effect, it's real good. Unlicensed chart. Let's see if we can get through customs again. Present ourselves. Conceal. Oh, we have a 100% chance of success this time. Hmm. It must be because I have less items. Three instead of four. Maybe the more you have, the less your chance. Or the, yeah, the less your chance of succeeding. Guaranteed success. Nice. At Port Prosper once again. Let's finish this prospect. So what's the bonus going to be? I gained reputation with the smugglers? Ooh. Thousand sovereigns. Wait, is... Oh, is the thousand sovereigns in addition to what I already got from turning them in? I think it... It is, right? In three salons to gossip. I think... I'm pretty sure that's an addition. Nice. Alright, let's grab all the carefully packed munitions. Can we spend some more time in Port Prosper? Yeah, factory tour. Speak with the workers. Spend more time at the East Enders. A hollow-eyed worker shakes her head. Her face is lined, but her hands are soft and supple. Dipped them in once too often. You've got to be fast, but it could be worse. She indicates a host of wizen-handed young men nursing their arthritic hands by an open fire. No housing in Prosper we can afford on our wages but those given by the company. No time to look for work and no way of disguising what our trade was, she sighs. But we have all the time in the world. You've gained eight terror. God, yeah, that's horrible. I might be able to get another settler to transport. Yeah, use a sky story to convince them. One way to Lustrum. Yeah, I might get there in the next year, hopefully. As far as I can tell from looking at my quests, I think I have business in three places. I have a Royal Horological Office quest in New Winchester. Uh, oh, and I also want to go there for the Will of the People. I don't... Hmm, I don't think the Will of the People is in New Winchester, actually. I don't remember where I was. Maybe Port Prosper. Did I already get it? Who knows? Anyway, Royal Horological Office at New Winchester. At the circus, we need to get that uh, Demolitions Expert Rat. And Lustrum, we need to drop off a settler... And uh, also my mining crew has been done mining there for probably like five months, so <laughs> maybe I should go say hi. And I guess I should also, hmm, I should also go to Titania and the Nature Reserve because I have a million things to turn into the researcher. And for Titania, uh, that's one of the other smuggling places, so I want to see what they have on offer. Yeah, okay, there's actually quite a bit to do here, but first stop, New Winchester. Oh, hello. Love doing this dance. Navigation suite. Unlicensed chart. Ah, got another one. Who are you shooting at? You oh fighting attackity. Let me help him out. And do that. And, oh god. Okay. That wasn't what I was expecting.
I'm pretty damn good at combat, I think. What is this unusual cargo? Sheaf of papers. Ministry stamp permit. Okay, I was wondering if you could get that from... from, uh, unusual cargo. I guess I'll keep doing that. I, I mean, I haven't needed unlicensed charts so far. Of course, I'm sure you're not guaranteed to get it. Now nah, this time, uh, Immaculate Souls, which is actually great. It's worth a lot of money. Oh no, the Tackety's trapped in between that block of land and that pipe. Oh, buddy. Who are you? You have a name? The, uh... Uh, what are the... What's the acronym? I can't see and I don't remember what it is, but the something Jared. I don't think I can help him. Man, look at the difference in size between our ships, though. This ship is so fucking huge. Or long, really. I would try to push him out, but they might take that as being hostile. Oh, hey. You fucker, leave him alone. I got your back, Jared. Cask of Navratine gemstones. Huh. I don't think this stuff ever came from the, uh... Dreadnoughts in this zone. I was thinking the loot, like, got better in the other zones because the enemies are harder and it's harder to get there and all that. But maybe once you reach a certain level or something, or once you go to certain places like Albion, maybe it starts giving you better loot tables even on old enemies? Oh, here we go. Somebody. Something. I don't know what it is. I can't see it. was that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> so funny. Oh, what the... A medical emergency. The settler from Port Prosper staggers onto the bridge, clutching his throat. Uh, hair sprouts like invasive weed from every follicle in his body, forcing its way out. Oh, wow. That didn't take very long at all for that to happen. I guess it just randomly happens, right? It's not like they, they haven't been on the ship for even a couple days, right? Eh. Let's return his remains to Port Prosper. Yeah, I'll go back there. Soon. That was a hell of a death. Weaponry. Yeah, let's grab it just to sell it. Reclaimed Marauder Mongol. Remember when I put the Mongol on my ship and I loved it? It was so good at the time. homestead. Munitions for Bronzewood, yes. Thank you. Back in New Winchester. Let's deal with the clock thing. Investigate the clocks. The clocks are running slow. Please, not yet, whispers a nervous tenant. I still have to pay this month's rent. My landlord... <laughs> Sorry. Well, actually, I'm going to sabotage it, so... This might be good for the tenant, actually. Is this the same description as before? Yep. Either correct it, sabotage, or leave it as it is. 79% chance of success. I failed the last time at Port Avon. Come on, yes! Time keeps on slipping. You make sure of it. A metaphorical wrench here. 
a literal one there, shortening the pendulum a fraction of an inch. The port will remain on its local time, independent from London's. As for the pieces left over, you're sure you can find good use for them elsewhere. I've lost strength of the sun. That's alright. Fuck the sun. Gain three supplies. Ooh, we got a couple interesting prospects here. One is explosives for lustrum. That's not particularly interesting, but gives me more reason to go there. This one's very interesting. Requires affiliation villainy too. Seeds for lustrum's free colonists. An enthusiastic notice reads, An opportunity for captains of an independent spirit. Generous payment offered for up to seven sacks of verdant seeds to be delivered to the hanged... Sorry, I just can't help but read all caps things. It's just yelling. Seven sacks of verdant seeds to be delivered to the hanged man at Lustrum. Captain of an independent spirit. That's me. Yes, yeah, seeds aren't worth that much, but seven of them's not bad. And plus, I already have this other prospect there as well, so it's going to be pretty lucrative to go to Lustrum. I think I actually want to go there first to free up some room for prospects. Because I was thinking of going to Titania to get some prospects, since they have a smuggling operation thing there, but uh, I think it should be Lustrum first. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to head over to Kirillin, since it's kind of on the way to Lustrum, and then Lustrum. So, just to catch you up to speed, I did stop at Kirillin, got a port report, visited that uh, statue to reduce my terror. Nothing exciting. Also fought a couple of cantankeries, took one of their stomachs to give to the research at the Nature Reserve, and now I've just come across this ship, the Star Stuff. Signal the wreck. Success. Dispatch a boarding party to retrieve a survivor who's too weak to work but will share their hoarded supplies with you. Two supplies. Ah, oh, cry havoc. You hear disturbance and... Oh dear, it must be the dog again. The baritone percussion of his barking echoes through the locomotive. Where is the noise coming from? The conductor's engine room. Sonorous disgruntlement emanates from the engine room. Backlit by the engine, the conductor and the, and the inadvisably big dog present an unusual silhouette. Your rambunctious canine has somehow pinned your officer to the ground. I cannot move. He mumbles from under a waterfall of golden fur. Without hurting the dog. Please remedy this. Wrestle the dog aside. You can take him. Of course you can. Except you can't. Not really. The dog proves a... Leviathanic opponent. And his horrid breath an additional challenge. In the end, you do not so much win as you do convince the inadvisably big dog that you're a better toy than the conductor. We've arrived at Lustrum. Haven't been here for a little while. Mountain sings. Let's join the celebration, reduce our terror down to zero. Let's get a port report. Let's turn in all our stuff. Seven sacks of verdant seeds. Gain 10 fortune with the Tackities. Oh, nice. Savage Secret, 150 experience. Seven reputation with the Tackities. I'm now, I have 211 reputation with them. <laughs> and the explosives. Yeah, some bonus stuff for the Tackities and all that stuff. Bonus 100 sovereigns. Surprise, surprise, they have a bargain of ours. I'll buy that all. Got plenty of room now. Yeah, I've really come back from having very little money to quite a bit. After doing that smuggling thing. And all these prospects I just did here and all that I'm going to turn into the nature reserve. I'm going to be sitting pretty well. Okay, there's still some more things to do here. Mm, let's go to the claim fields. Let's go to our own claim. Collect your haul. Your crew take a break. The fruits of their labors are barreled, barreled up and ready for your inspection. Miners speak of a geode containing a whole century's worth of hours, so big that it had to be dragged away by locomotive. 
Your crew have not found anything like that. Without a factory full of equipment, the most you can realistically hope for is a fine bounty of unseasoned hours. They sit in nervous silence as you examine their efforts. The foreman comes to greet you. Nothing much to report, Captain. Ready to start loading up the barrels when you are? Two barrels of unseasoned hours. Yeah, that's not very impressive. <laughs> okay. Your lustrum prospecting quality has gone. Ah, our claim has run dry. Uh, it's time to call it a day. Crew gather, gathers together your final haul of hours and awaits further instructions. Their frostbitten fingers twitch for the warmth of the train. If you don't have space for everyone, you can collect them later from the hanged man in Lustrum. I don't have any space. So can I, like, find a new place to prospect? Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks good. Join a plot against the Windward Company. Fuck yeah. The Windward Company's factory poisons the air. Worse, their miners take all the best claims. At the back of the hanged man, schemes are in motion. Hell yeah. The prospectors still see you as a newcomer, but you've proven your mining chops. Their numbers are too few to reject you. They let you into their war room at the back of the hanged man. Something, they say, must be done. When asked what, they frown. Something big, they declare. It appears that is as far as their resentment has got them. Hmm. Aggression or diplomacy? <laughs> Aggressive. It's time for action. And a very large explosion. You can even build the device they'll need. I wish we had the demolitions rat on board, huh? Be perfect for this. The back room of the pub is silent while you work. It isn't long before you've assembled the bomb. All that remains is to slip it into one of the barrels heading for the Windward Factory's mighty furnace. When it comes, the explosion is glorious. A slow motion flowering of flame that lasts much of a day. Nobody is hurt. Even the closest have plenty of time to evacuate. The damage to the inside of the factory, however, is nigh incalculable. This facility will not be processing any more hours for the foreseeable future. You've moved to a new area. Gained some barrels of unseasoned hours. Struck a blow for the Tackities. Lost five fortunes with the stovepipes. Let's see, anything else we can do? Not for now, not right here anyway. Let's buy a, ra let's buy a round of drinks for the miners. I don't even want their advice. Just... I guess I have to take some advice, but yeah, there you go. Some drinks. Ten sovereigns. No big deal. Don't think we have anything new to talk to Mr. Pennies about. I mean, I could sell them the hours. How much do they pay me again? Oh, ten sovereigns? Yeah. Just checked, and it looks like I can't stake another claim, as far as I can tell. Let's go to Sweet Jane's Counting House and give them some charred nameplates. How many do I have? Twelve. Oh, and I can turn twelve in for a moment of inspiration. Or for a bunch of sovereigns. Hmm. Let's turn in twelve for a moment of inspiration. Thank you. New total, six. Ah, we can visit the Windward Company, which has changed. The burning smoke of its factory no longer hangs over Lustrum. The miners are no better off financially, but at least breathe easier. The huge factory doors are surrounded by Windward's netty men, stick-wielding strike breakers pressed into service as guards. There's no getting anywhere near the factory while it remains on high alert. It is always on high alert. I guess there's no point in drinking tea, really, because my terror is already at zero. Let's head on over to the nature reserve. And we've just arrived at the nature reserve. 
but I think I'll save this for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna turn in all our stuff to the researcher, make a lot of money, and then head on over to Titania.